Hey guys, Matt here from Wayne Phyllis. Just gonna shoot you the Veloster video that you've asked for. So here she is. Um, this is our pre-delivery center down here at Longsdale. So where all the cars get sort of serviced, uh, washed, all in this shed here. And obviously we do um, our paintwork as well. So I'm um, just gonna do a quick video of the car and just show you what we do need to do to it. It's been safety checked now, so Basically the front wheels um, on the car are pretty good. There is a couple little chips, which again is stuff that we do do, but obviously it's not too bad as you can see. Got the green ascents there as well to go with the vehicle. The tires are all good on the car, front and rear, so you're not gonna have to change them anytime soon. And most of the bodywork is pretty tidy. It's just little things, so we're being pretty fussy with it. So on the mirrors here, obviously some clear coat that's coming off. So we've quoted that up for repairs. This will be stuff that I can talk to you about if you don't want to do or you want to leave it. Front bumper bar, a couple of little marks just down here. And again, just a slight little bit of sort of peeling and fading on the front there. So um, that's something that we're gonna quote and do, which is the whole front bumper, basically. And then just a little repair there. So that's the whole bumper done all across the bottom there. The bonnet is fine, just needs a uh, good detail, so no issues there. Again, just show you the tyres on this side, so plenty of life left in those. This is the gutter side, so obviously you see a bit more marks normally here as well with a bit of rash. So again, very, very minor, I suppose, from what I've seen in the past, but can be also quoted. The wing mirror is the same on this side as well, so just a bit of flaking there. Uh, roof is good, looks good with the black and the green, it's an awesome colour. It'll tidy up quite nice, it just needs a little bit of tender love and care just to finish it all off. This wheel is probably the worst. So obviously they have hit a gutter at some point there, doesn't look the most attractive, so probably something that we can negotiate and repair for you. Um, some people even paint these a different colour, like black. Um, probably the black and the green so you could leave the green in there do the black on here and repair that so that's something that you could probably discuss uh, the top of the spoiler here now we're not too sure we are going to give it a bit of a a polish and a scrub but more than likely it's too far gone as you can see that's the original there and it's all just sort of gone to a dull finish so probably need to allow to paint that but we will give it a good crack and polish it up and see if it comes up any better uh, that's just a sticker there, so that'll come off. Rear bar has been quoted as well, um, just because obviously fading down here, as well as the clear coat. So whether that's been repaired before, I'm not too sure, but um, it's a terrible job at the moment, so obviously needs to be fixed. So that has also been quoted. So apart from that, the rest of it presents quite nicely. Rear tires as well, plenty of meat on those. Um, inside the car, the other thing that you need to allow is whether, it depends on how fussy again you want to be, but this little clear um, chrome has come off. It's sort of like a fake chrome on both handles, I believe, on the inside. So obviously the car you're seeing as we traded it Saturday, so it is dirty inside. Obviously the client used it for driving in. Um, so you are seeing it all a bit dirty. This will all get vacked out, shampooed out, all the seats and everything else, but there's no rips or tears or anything noted in the leather. So we're all looking good there. Just try and show you as best as I can here. So it's got all the black leather. As I said, you're gonna see a bit of few wear marks, but no cracks itself. We've got both the keys for the car as well, which is awesome. Roof, everything, it's all in operation. All looking pretty fancy there. The other thing that we have allowed and we might just see is the steering wheel here. So obviously over time, um, wearing that and it was a lady that owned it obviously maybe rings and things like that it does affect the steering wheel so it's a common occurrence with some of these older cars so we at the moment what we're doing is quoting up a second hand steering wheel to see if we can get another one that is in better condition or whether we can get a a, um, a leather guru to re leather stitch that so that's another thing option as well so we just need to get a quote on that um the rest is all pretty good. Uh, it's due for a service now, which we haven't done yet. So we'll wait and discuss that with you first, but that's something we can do. Um, so yeah, it's due for basically the one, 122, 
123, which is what it's on. So 122.837. Um, all the features of the car. So you've got the, uh, just trying to jump in now. You've got the huge screen there. You can plug your iPhone in and everything as well. Um, reverse camera is in there as well with sensors on the back. Uh, it does have sat nav as well. So that's all built in. And the report from the um, service manager inside said it's been well cared for as far as mechanical goes. So if we just go through the book here. <clears throat> Let's go back through them. From the very start, so most of it's through Hyundai there. That's at 1500 Ks. First one there, 15,000, 30,000. And then 30 goes to, a little bit of a jump, goes to 60. 86 112 that was recently done and then now it's due again now so then obviously we stamp that book as well so a couple have been like sort of extended out a little bit further but he has given it a pass and a tick of approval to sell um we obviously trust these guys when they do it all so yeah he's given it the ticket just needs a bit of tidying up it's gonna go underneath the bonnet just to complete this for you but hope you can um, see the end result of what is going to finish up as a pretty nice car once we've cleaned it all up so a little bit dirty under there as well of course it'll get detailed under there and this has the gdi motor which is obviously um p-plate friendly and approved so enjoy the video guys and um yeah give us a call once you've had a look and we can discuss what you'd like to do with the car as far as cosmetics go and even the servicing and things like that too. And we can happily work out a negotiated price based on that. Cheers.